It's mono time. And uh, today is June 22? Sure. Is it? Very possible. Could be July. Uh, the jokes last week, professional rubber wronger. That was Kanye West. I like that term. You can have it. Uh, Joe Dirt Skin Products. There should be. There should be a whole merch line. And I'm going to talk to Kylie and we're going to team up. <laughs> no one believed I did 500 push-ups. Not that hard. Do not believe. Even though I am ripped. You can't see it in this golf attire. Because I'm going to go golf for the first time in a while. And... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, what's I going to talk? God damn it. I haven't done these all the time now. I do them about twice a week, so... Tough shit. People liked uh, that I had a green shirt on. <laughs> it's nice. The wrong Missy. Everyone makes fun of my hair, but you know what? I got, I got no team here, so this is it. It's called Bedhead. Look into it. Yesterday was Father's Day, or as Scott Disick calls it, Payday. Mm. Mm. <laughs> if we're doing music <laughs> still laughing at some jokes from the other day a couple in Vietnam oh this is a tough story NSFW they have been uh, detained over killing cats and dogs and selling their meat authorities are telling people if you haven't seen your pet in a few days check your poop I shouldn't even do this joke. I remember this one. 37-year-old Claire Crawley. There's a showbiz name. <laughs> Have you thought of Marilyn Monroe? Claire Crawley of The Bachelorette will start filming soon in a bubble. This is the joke I didn't want to do. A bubble is a place where men are attracted to elderly women. <laughs> elderly! Fuck that writer. Fuck them. And guess what? You know he's older than 37. Hello, Sonny! The reason I won't do this joke is because I read a review of The Wrong Missy this weekend. Why do you read them? You know why I read it? Because it said, Wrong Missy, 5 out of 10. I go, that's pretty good. So I read it. <laughs> I go, 5? That's half. And then I read it and it said, David Spade played... No, it said, Tim played by an elderly David Spade. Fuck you. That's why I don't want to do this joke. Because I'm four times older than her. But hers is a joke. Mine's real. They were like, mm. And then I read this dog shit review. And then at the end, I go, 5 out of 10. It said 0.5 out of 10. That's fucking... You can't even do that. That's cheating. You can't say 0.5. But people like it. That's all I care about. Jeremy Piven removed the option to have $15,000 Zoom call. From his cameo. He removed it? I got two words. Call me! 15 grand just to fucking who's who, man, who? I'm there, dude. I'll sit there and be condescending and obnoxious for 15 grand. I'll just get up and leave like cam girls and I won't be like, are, are you still talking? I'm like, yeah, go ahead. I'm in the kitchen. Cambodia is demanding $2,400 coronavirus deposit. For arriving travelers. You know, you should be fine as long as you don't take any bats from the minibar. I used to do that. And uh, I never had a problem with it. But A, they're super expensive. What do you think a bat is? Like a nickel? Meanwhile, 25 bucks. Every bat. And then I get the potato chips. And it's like three chips for $19. All air. Three chips floating at the bottom. Like a fucking makenge. What's it called? Marenge? Yeah, sure. Please send us the word I'm looking for. It goes, <laughs> fuck, it's not the two I said. <laughs> it's not Morongo because that's a casino. <laughs> okay, in the Jersey Shore season finale, Snooki quit the show. So now the producers of Jersey Shore have two situations. <laughs> Woo! Access granted. They like that joke. A uh, guy in Florida with a machete face tattoo. Didn't you go out with this guy? Uh, was arrested for a machete attack. Meanwhile, Florida police have begun monitoring a guy with a tattoo of himself shitting on the mayor's desk. 
A volcano in China that was believed to be extinct. Is that the right word? May now be recharging. Big story about this on my bad news app on my phone. Actually, all my apps are bad news apps. Like, hey, sports. And I'm like, oh, what's in sports? They're like, this isn't really sports, but there's a fucking killer volcano coming. I'm like, no. A COVID patient in India passed away after his family unplugged the ventilator to turn on the air conditioner. But you know what, Dad? died doing what he loved most, begging the family not to touch the thermostat. <laughs> I get it. I crank that shit down. I actually don't even like it that cold. Interesting. Wow, thank you. No one gives a fat fuck. Kurt Cobain's MTV Unplugged guitar sold for six million at this Julian's auction this weekend. My gloves from Dickie Roberts are looking to get about the same. I and Dickie Roberts, two stories. I was afraid of germs. I'm not even gonna say ahead of my time, whatever. Did you, first of all, did you know Kurt had blue eyes? One blue this way, one blue that way. Mm. Also, um, and I would never do that joke, but also when they were on SNL, SNL stories, <laughs> he was sitting in the um, hallway with Courtney Love. Oh. Wasn't that interesting? Is that weird? But A, because he's super fucking cool. But I didn't know Nirvana much the first time they came on, and the second time I overly star fucked him and kissed his ass because I knew more. But we asked him to be in Gap Girls, and then uh, they said yes. And then on Friday, they fell out because they didn't like the tone of what we were, which they were right. So we used um, Skid Row because they were in Joy Z. All right. Scarlett Johansson says her signature husky voice got her turned down for roles when she was a kid. But you know, if we hadn't banned cigarette ads on TV, she could have been the face of Camel Jr. But you know what? It shook out fine. Avengers it is. I guess that's it. <laughs>